All right. Gonna get the ray gun and go kill some zombies. Wait just one second. How about I use the Mark II instead of the pitiful Mark I? Let's go. Zombie dog! Oh, it, it doesn't do anything. It's just a 3D model. Well, and it's just Cooper. Hey, Cooper. Hopefully this intro wasn't too cringy and we'll get on with the rest of the video. Hey guys, it's Aaron. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a 3D model of a life-size Raygun Mark II from Call of Duty Zombies. I did a video in the last year of the Raygun Mark I. These are made by the same people, Easton 3D Services. They have an Etsy page where you can get both of these. So I'll have a link in the description for those if you wanna check them out and build these yourself. So they're both 3D printed models. Original Raygun has a lot less parts than the Raygun Mark II. Here's just a bunch of parts that go with it and come with it. I have the all little attachments and all the details to it, which I'm gonna glue on in the future here. I think there's about 60 something parts. They're really easy to put together. There's like a little manual that comes with it and it's, yeah, it's pretty simple to put together. It's awesome. I'm gonna use some heavy duty construction glue to glue it together so it doesn't come apart. And I'm also gonna paint it as well. Hopefully this will make it into a video in the future. The original 3D ray gun here made it into my Nerf Meets Call of Duty zombie videos. The second one, and hey, hopefully this will make it into maybe something like Nerf Meat Zombies 3.0. Not totally sure what I'm gonna use this for, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'll hopefully use it in a video in the future. Also wanted to show you guys, I got another life-size ray gun here recently. I think I found the guy who made this maybe through like another YouTube video where I just searched Call of Duty ray gun life-size or something like that. Anyways, they found Liam from Delta Props who makes life-size zombie props including the ray gun. I got him to make me a ray gun here. And I just think it is absolutely fantastic. It is totally legit. I think it's a little bit more life-size compared to this one. This one is bigger than life-size for sure. And obviously Liam from Delta Props did a much better paint job than I did. <laughs> and hey, I might use this in another video as well. I'd be tempted to use this much over this because obviously this looks way better than that does. So I gotta make the Ray Gun Mark II actually look like the real deal. First, I'm gonna paint it and glue it all together and see what I can make of it. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse here and hopefully it works out all right. And voila, there you go. Life-size ray gun Mark II. I think it took me approximately about eight to 10 hours of painting and gluing it together. That's pretty much most of the work. Been working on it the last three days, just putting in a couple hours each day, letting the paint dry. And I was also working on other stuff at the same time. So I just worked on it a couple hours here and there. And I'm really happy how it turned out. It's not perfect by any means, but I think I did a pretty good job. So I haven't had much experience painting 3D models. I just went to my local craft store, Michael's, and just bought the closest paint to the colors that I thought matched the original Raygun Mark II. So I'm not exactly sure what the best kind of paint is for actually doing something like this. I just used Folk Art Multi-Surface Satin Acrylic Paint. Uh, for the colors, I used Berry Wine for the red and Classic Green for the green and then just black. 
The parts that were originally red of the model were the ones that I had to do multiple layers for paint simply so the red wouldn't shine through. So that's one reason why it took me a couple days. I just had to do several layers of paint to make sure that the original red didn't show through. And then to protect it and give it a little bit of shine, I just covered it with the clear lacquer. And I also glued the model together using heavy duty construction glue. And yeah, that's pretty much how I did it. I am extremely happy how it turned out. The trigger works here, it doesn't do anything, but at least you're able to pull it and it works. And then the sights also can move up and down as well. And the last thing you can do is the back part can come out. Also jump in here and show you guys some first person footage to show what it looks up close. All right, so here is the Raygun Mark II, completely painted. You can see it's got a clear lacquer on it, so it shines a little bit. I glued all the pieces in, so they're all sturdy. They're not gonna come apart. The trigger works, the sights. I tried to paint in as many details as I can. Hopefully you can see that. And then the back part also comes in and out. And I think it looks pretty legit to the actual Raygun Mark II. Obviously not perfect, but it's, uh, it's pretty close. And then here's also another first person shot of the ray gun from Delta Props. Just freaking fantastic. I love this thing. Sadly, this one doesn't have any moving parts, but who cares? It looks awesome. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to do this yourself, go get it from Easton 3D Services Etsy page. They're actually really awesome. I lost one of the internal pieces for the trigger. No idea how I lost it. It was completely my fault. I know I had it and somehow I just misplaced it and I emailed them saying, hey, can I pay for a new one? And they ended up just shipping me the part for free. So appreciate that from them. And if you guys want to get a life-size ray gun mark too that you can just paint like this, that's the place to get it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.